we are continuing on our series of niagara fluids liquid simulation in unreal engine this will be the last video in which i am going to show you how you can import animated mesh how you can set them in sequencer and how you can make sure that it interacts with niagara fluids for liquid simulation as you saw in my teaser where i showed you how dragon interacts with the water same way you can do this with animated mesh that you want so without any delay, let's jump into Unreal Engine. I have loaded a default scene here and I have already enabled Niagara Fluids. If you haven't, you can go to edit plugins and enable Niagara Fluids. Just restart your engine and you are ready to go. We are going to use an animated mesh here. For that, I am going to use a website called Sketchfab. So just search here the mesh that you want basically i want a dragon or a creature so i would type creature here and i would make sure that it is downloadable and it is animated so you can have an animated mesh in unreal engine and if you scroll downwards here you will find several assets here which are free of cost and which you can purchase also so you can see here this some assets are re are free to use this dinosaur is free to use this uh, octopus ocean creature is free to use so you just need to click here and just make sure that you download it in the format that you want basically i would prefer a fbx and if it's a blender file you can open it and export it as an fbx here so you just need to download it and as you can see we are having this animation here of the creature and you can use any animated mesh that you want and you just need to click on download 3d model and just need to download the fbx i have done the same here let me show you my folder here so you can see here is my folder and you as you can see i have already extracted it and you can see here is my fbx and here are my materials here let me show you how you can import it in unreal engine so you just need to go to your content drawer just create a new folder where you want to import so let's just name it to model you just need to right click and import so let me do that for you just import the fbx that you want so i am going to import this animated fbx just click on open and here you need to make sure that you have this a skeleton set to none so if it's showing any skeleton here just make sure that it is set to none and one more thing you need to do to import animations just make sure that import animations is done on i think by default it is done on but if it is not then just make sure that you turn on this import animations and just make sure that animation length is to export it time here and just import all once you do it you will find that you are you will be having some materials here a material which you would be applying to your model but for that you need to import textures also so just drag and drop your textures and create a new material if you don't know how to create a material and how to use textures you can check out my introduction to materials in unreal engine and you will be ready to go i have already imported my dragon here and i have already created the texture that i am going to use on that dragon so let me show you how you can create the niagara fluids so let's just go to file let's just create a new level let's just create a basic level here we are not going to save this and now we are going to create a 3d fluid grid here so let's just do that here and now we are going to keep this lighting only we are not going to change anything here so let's just do that thing so let's just go to our content drawer let's just create a new niagara system so let's right click here let's create on niagara system here and let's just create our 3d grid flip pool because we are going to interact this pool with our character animated mesh so let's just create here and let's just name it to dragon okay and let's just drag and drop it it will take like two to three seconds to load it into your scene so let's just do that right now and now you can see we are having this thing here if you import a uh, fbx mesh or animated mesh you would be having like a skeleton mesh a uh, physics asset a skeleton and an animation sequence so you need to have this skeleton mesh into your scene here so let's just drag and drop it here and now you can see we are having this creature but it's way too big so let's just rescale it but before doing the rescale you need to add the animation also into the sequencer because sometimes what happens when you add the animation no your uh, model would be way too small then you need to resize it so let's just set up and our animation also to our sequence so let's just click here let's just add our level sequence here let's just name it to animated dragon 
now we are going to click on add we are going to actor to sequencer and add our skeleton mesh and here you need to make sure that you are having a animation here which we have already imported while importing fbx so we need to click on this here and now you can see we cannot see our mesh so if i press f key here by selecting our mesh here you can see it's here so it's way too small compared to our water so we need to resize this so let's just take it to 20 here okay it's way too big let's take it to maybe 3 okay but if i play here again you can say it's small so we need to take it to 10 okay so basically you need to play with the settings here to get your model correctly so let's just rescale it by pressing r key and we are going to resize this to somewhere around this and let's just move it upwards here so basically something like this we can do okay we need our character to be more bigger here so we are going to resize it quickly so this is looking nice now we are going to if i play here you can see we are getting this animated character and our water is not interacting with our basically character so let's just do that if you remember we need to add a collider but before doing that let me apply the material that i have created on my character okay and as usual it would be big you just need to play with your animation sequence okay so let's just play with our animated sequence here and now you can see it's not interacting with our water so to do that we need to select our geometry and as you remember we need to search for tags here and we need to add a collider tag so let's just add a collider tag and let's just press enter and let's just go back here okay and now if i play here you can see our water mesh is not visible our animation is visible our water mesh is not visible so we need to do some settings to that so let's just do that also so if you see here we are having our niagara system here if i double click it here and open it and if you can see now it is visible so sometime this happens sometime it is visible sometime it is not so just you need to load it again and it would be visible here so if i deselect this and if i go again back now you can see our character is interacting with our water but our water resolution is way too small so we need to increase it and we need to increase our grid also so let's just do that here so we are going to double click on our niagara system okay then as usual you need to play with all the settings that i have showed you in earlier videos also so as usual we are going to click on this we are going to increase our grid in x and y so let's just take in x to 1000 and in y to 1200 okay let's just see how this is looking okay this is looking nice you can take it more bigger also so let's just do 1200 by maybe 1800 okay so this is looking nice okay this character is looking good maybe we are going to take it to 1500 in x yeah so let's just also increase the resolution here so as you remember we need to increase our max power cell so let's just take it to 200 here okay we are getting this error so let's just take it to 128 okay we are still getting this error so let's just keep it to 64 for now okay then we will increase it in some time so let's just increase our pressure iterations to 200 right now let's just save it and let's just close this let's just play it again okay now you can see it's interacting and we are getting some foam particles but not that much here okay because we need to increase our resolution and now you can see it's looking really good okay we are getting this foam on his face also and here also so if i move my character somewhat upwards okay let's just do that here okay so let's just take our skeleton and let's just move it upwards here something like this and if i play here now you can see we are getting this foam particles also here and backwards also so if i go around backward you can see here we can see our foam particles also so you need to play with the settings and all that stuff to get the realistic result that you want and if you want your foam to be more visible as usual you need to basically increase the foam particle rate and all that stuff i have showed you how to do it in last video but let me just show you again so you just need to 
uh, go to your Niagara fluids and you just need to make sure that your grid is having the foam aging radius set to 0.3 or 0.4 so basically it doesn't die soon so let's just do 0.3 by 0.3 here let's just stop this here okay so let's just do 0.3 by 0.3 here okay and if you want to increase the particles also uh, your foam and your spray you can do that also so if you remember you need to open this and you need to basically play with your spawn particles and in that you need to play with your fluid velocity if you want more interactions with your character you need to go into your grid 3d flip fluid and you need to make sure okay you can also use this complex collision if you want into your water okay um, that would work really good so you just need to make sure that that is turned on and you just need to make sure here that if you want more interactions with water and your character just make sure that your collision velocity multiplier is set to a higher value if i set it to 2 here now my character would be colliding more with my water here so let me show you that also so if i go here okay and if i play here so let it settle a bit and if i play here now you can see my character is interacting more with the water here and if I go to something like this now you can see it's inter interacting more with the water and now if you want your particle size to be small you can do that also as usual you need to go to your foam particle settings okay and you need to basically make sure by going to opacity multiplier it's set to around 0.75 here okay we don't want much uh, more uh, visible foam okay we, we want some transparency some opacity into that and scale curve also you can take it to 0.75 so you don't get much big big particles in your foam and your spray here and one more thing if your scene is scaled to cinematics it will not work here you need to make sure that you're not working in cinematic here just make sure your engine scalability settings is set to auto here we need to go downwards and make sure that maximum number cell size is set to 200 now you can see it is working but if i set this to cinematic here you are going to see that you are going to get this error so it doesn't work with cinematics right now yeah it's a bug maybe or something like that so you need to make sure that your engine scalability is set to auto and if you increase the resolution then you can find here it's working perfectly see and now you can see our character is interacting way more so you can basically take it from 2 to 1 also so let's just take the collision velocity to 1 and now this is working beautifully now you can see this is looking really good here see so i hope you enjoyed this niagara fluid series and you have learned some really good things i am going to create some more videos in the future uh, by combining external apps like Houdini or Phoenix FD. So stay tuned for that. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends who wants to learn Unreal Engine and press that like button. See you guys next time. Bye bye.